Yo, what's good, y'all? A remake of this video. I tried to do this video like two, three weeks ago. Four. I dang, has it been like a month? No, I didn't. It can't been a month. It was. It was after the chapter with the. Uh, I think when Hisoko went after the troop. I had been think, thought about this video again, you know, uh, because you know Togashi changed up the game on us. But this has to do, you know, I had promised, and the, the reason it's a remake, because the audio, I know my audio is not the greatest thing on earth, please, I know this, but the audio was straight trash, I mean, it was booby, it was, it was nasty, it was disgusting, so I was like, nah, you know what, and then it just got hard for me to do other videos, so I was like, whatever, let me, when I got the time, when I got the mindset, let me go ahead and remake this, and now, since Mr. Yoshihiro Togashi, wants to go on another hiatus, it's prime time, okay? <laughs> what I predict, future fights and, and things of that nature in this, in this video, okay? Let's see if I, if I can remember all of what I look at. I look at, obviously, I, I'm predicting Gene Freaks versus Paris and Hill if they make it to the Dark Continent, which those two probably will. I don't know all of who's gonna actually make it to the Dark Continent. I mean, we gotta hit the new continent beforehand, and it'll be very interesting. Um, yeah, I definitely have Gene King killing Paris. Okay, I really do. Um, I have Hisoka fighting Gene, and I don't necessarily have Hisoka winning that fight. But what I think it will do is it will alert Gene to to prep Gone. You know, to teach going more about Nin, um, which will be very nice. It'll be very good to see father and son, as well as you know, we get to see more about Jing's capabilities and Nin. I think this dude's a master of all the other five besides specialists. I don't think he's a specialist. Um, now I don't know which which Nin affinity he has, but I think he's a master regardless. He may be a special case. Okay, he may be an anomaly and break the rules. We don't even know about Nin. Nin's crazy at this point. So you got to consider that. Um, people keep talking about Kirby people going after the Phantom Troop. I don't see it. We we clearly got, he, he doesn't have any need. He already said during the York New City, he gave it up. He talked to Gold and he's like, yo, I'm done. Um, and also, the Kurt Clan Oz, he's only after, um, what's the thing? You know, the fourth Prince of Kakin right now. He's going after that. So I don't see any purpose in that, you know. Maybe battling Corolla, but I don't see. I I just don't see the purpose. Um, Hisoka going after Phantom Troop, as you know, we see that. Um, Hisoka versus Corolla 2.0 is looking very likely. Hisoka, you know, I already mentioned Hisoka versus Jing. Um, we got other top tiers. Morel throwing hands again. Um, Biscuit Kruger, I, I don't think I mentioned this. I think Biscuit Kruger's gonna get a good fight. She may die. Morel, I think I think he has a hell of a lot more to show this. Remember, he was hindered in the uh, Chimera Ant arc. Some of the, Zod the Zodiacs going at each other. It's gonna be very interesting. Um, Pariston, you know, him him battling others before his death to Gene will be very interesting. I already mentioned Meteor City, and looks like that's gonna be altered to a degree. But we shall see um, what happens there. Maybe that's where Hisoka and Gene, I mean, not Hisoka and Gene, Hisoka and Kuro will throw down yet again. Um, I still say Kirby goes there and he, and he battles. Um, let's see. Oh, Hisoka killing Illumi. I've been said that for the longest time. I think it's going to be a phenomenal battle, one of the best in the series, hands down. Um, let's see. There's others. You know, I can't wait to see Maha Zodic throw down. Maybe, I mean, Silva. Will Hisoka go after Silva? I don't know. Jean go after Silva? That would be nice. Corolla and Silva 2.0 would be nice. Corolla killing Silva? That'd be cool. Um, or Killua killing his father and taking over as head of the family. It's a possibility. It really is. Um, especially if Silva keep, I mean, uh, Killua keeps going against his father's orders or father's methods. It'd be very interesting. Why would he go after the son? Don't know. Don't know that much about the man. I mean, he wants his son to be, but maybe he'll think it'll bring it out of him. I mean, the dude's twisted. I mean, the whole family's twisted, so 
But Maha's still my dude. Yo, the 2.0, let's go. Uh -oh. You know, I, I, I've been predicted, uh, you know, I did a video about Gome representing, uh, or at least mentioning a Gome representing the Hunters Association, uh, Killua representing the Zodic family, and Kurapika. At one point, I say him, you know, representing the Phantom Troop. Maybe him joining Corolo. That would be a plot twist and a half. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that in the last video. Um, but, you know, to wrap up the final battles, uh, will Jing die? I don't know. It, it'll be. Oh, I want to see my dog Razor in action as well. Razor from back in Great Island. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, who else? I think there will be an end user, EN. I, someone who has the ability to cross the, uh, across the globe. I can't wait to see Dawn of Freaks. Dawn of Freaks. Let's go. Oh, that'd be nasty. Um, I still think the Curtis Clan um, either had, you know, they may have been a main branch, a branch family outside of, or they, they originated from the Dark Continent. I mean, Speak123 did a video on that. Shout out to Speak, Mad Work, put in there. Um, I think the Zordic family, they, I think they originate from the Dark Continent. I think the Freaks, I think they all originate from the Dark Continent, but parts of it anyways. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what's there. Um, I think, you know, I think other creatures, because we saw just an ant evolve, what else is over in the Dark Hunter? But at the end of the day, I, th you know, I thought the final battles were going to go down like this. I thought Kilo would, because I thought he's so, let's see, how, how did it go? How did it work? I thought, wait a second. Oh, Kur uh, Kilo, I mean, Kurapika, you know, going at and killing you know, potential, again, there's two avenues, is whether Kurapika actually goes, I mean, he could kill this individual, and actually, the, the, the young Zodic that's in there, and actually become part of the fan troop, but you like, why would, you know, he accept the chain user, double agent kind of junk, who knows, you know, Corolla's like, hmm, okay, he's actually worthy of it, and he puts it in, because remember, he's still could join fan troop, and it seems like he killed, so, That'd be very interesting to see there. So, there's that path I presented before. And I'll go on. Killua, you know, goes after Kurapika. Gon tells Killua not to, but Killua goes anyway. And Kurapika kills him. And if Killua dies? Oh, Killua's already died? Oh, Gon. We, we already saw a prelude, a, a foreshadowing of that. And he goes pure rage. He's pure instinct, right? Uh, and, and Kurapika, you know, at this point represented as the most powerful Nin user potentially in the series. Um, the most skilled might end up going to Hisoka. Okay. Hisoka or Jing. Hisoka may surpass Jing. Just keeping it real. At this point, that's what it's seeming like. So, we get that. And and what I thought was the final battle. Now, I do not think it's a battle. Maybe the battle before the last. Now, I also do think that Gon's going to fight Hisoka. And I do actually think Hisoka's going to defeat Gon. Even if Gon gets training from Jing and maybe Razor or uh, who else? Who knows if Maha trains him. Maha may train Killua. Uh, who else? Don Freak. Who know? He may get training, but Hisoka may still defeat Gon. Uh, very likely that that will be the outcome. I don't see at this point how Gon's defeating a dude like Hisoka. I mean, we saw all that Corolla had to bring to the table just to defeat Hisoka. And he had the advantage. Now he's so much more powerful and more focused. Just keeping it real for the people. Just keeping it real. And Gon has to relearn how to use Nan and the new type of Nan or whatever. Okay, so keep that in mind. So yeah, so I think Gon and he's still going to fight well with Jorge and all the, all these end of the series of battles. But I do have Kurapika Gil and Gon, and then. You know, in the series final battle, Hisoka versus Kurapika. Who wins that one? Because at the, you know, even though there are no heroes and villains in uh, in Hunter Hunter, Gon going flipping to the dark side, if you will, is very likely from what's been represented on multiple occasions. Um, Kurapika and, and Hisoka. Now that as the final battle. I think they represent the epitome of, of our Dante. And from the focus we continually to get. Now, of course, I got Leorio probably having a battle or two up in this piece sometime. But 
you know, Leorio's more of the healer. He's not really the combatant, okay? But Hisoka versus Kurapika. People say, well, why do you think that's going to be a fun one? When I look at Hunter x Hunter, what was the first thing you think of? You think of strategic battles, okay? These two are showcasing the best strategies, okay? These two seem to be completely special cases. Now, we know that Gon and, and Kill were special, the prodigies. But Kurapika and, and Hisoka are just a different breed altogether. It was proven thus far. He's, Kurapika's got some, almost, he's got OPS, hell abilities. Both of these dudes think very similarly. Both of these dudes, and it, it would make sense because both of these dudes are currently at odds, have been at odds with the Phantom Troop, and the Phantom Troop have played such a vital role in this series. Both of these dudes continue to push forward into darkness, actual darkness. So, their view may become one of dark justice, if you will. You know, vengeance uh, doesn't mean dark justice necessarily, but vendettas and, and things of that nature. I mean, Kurapika is a young, a young Don, seemingly, or an underboss, one of the two. Um, Hisoka has been known as the murderer, and them two going at each other, events could lead up to that. I mean, especially if they end up teaming up during, you know, future, re near future events, excuse me, I was trying to think of the proper term for it. Um, them battling at the end of the series, I mean, it would definitely be a plus because everything could lean up going in Hisoka, but Kurpika and Hisoka would make would make for a much better battle. All the strategy, and we see how much each of these dudes think. I don't think it's it's uh, a far fetch to say that these two would be the epitome of it, because I mean, Togashi continues to pour so much thought into each of these characters. And he keeps stacking up each of these characters as more powerful. So, it'll be very interesting to see. These are my thoughts. What are yours? What are some battles you would love to see later down in the series? Some of them, I'm pretty sure I mentioned a few of them. But others, maybe I didn't mention. All right, y'all. I expect you want to be out Peace. Have a nice, have a beautiful day, beautiful night.